So just a quick government type class review. HIPAA came from, you'll see on the slide, the legislative branch, which means that the Senate side and the representative side at the federal level had to agree on the language of this law. Once that was done, it was sent to the executive branch, which signed it, executed it, and actually made it federal law. So that part is done. So now we've got under the executive branch, the federal department that it's been assigned to, HHS, for them to do the enforcement. But what you're gonna see as we go through some of the language of this law, the words are, in lawyer terms, we call them broad. Um, reasonableness, minimally necessary information. I think everybody would agree that's very subjective terms. It's not what you would call a black and white rule. And so ultimately, the federal agency and sometimes the judicial side of our government have to get involved and actually have to make an interpretation of what those words actually mean. Sometimes that's done on a case-by-case -case basis, and you'll see as we go through some of the case examples where that is occurring. 